Hello friends. We are on Hello Slump Day 2. I felt really good after I worked out yesterday. I did. Um, I was happy to have done it. Uh, but I still woke up with like dread this morning. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. I'm gonna try another thing that I haven't done yet before Peloton related and it's gonna go one of two ways. I'm either going to love it and it's going to be the kick in the ass I need or I'm gonna hate it and I'm gonna hate myself for trying it. Uh, we're gonna do a boxing boot camp today followed by a 20 minute house ride. Uh, that's just for funsies. I wanna get my miles in for the month. I have like two more to hit gold for my challenge. So that's why we're doing that. Um, Really not a big fan of boxing. I feel really stupid doing the moves, but I want to try boot camp um, version. And it's only 20 minutes. And part of the reason I've been in this pillow slump is boredom. And the only way to try something new is to try something new, right? So congratulations, you guys are going to get to see me shadow box. I'm going to film it. And then I'm going to want to die when I watch it back because I'm going to look so stupid. But Let's just do it. All right, let's do this thing. Let's start off with our monster stance in three, two, one. So feet about shoulder length apart. If you're a righty, you're gonna take your right foot back. If you're a lefty, you're gonna take your left foot back. You're gonna pivot your feet to a 45 degree angle. You're gonna bring your hands up next to your chin. Your elbows are gonna stay nice and flexed against your body. Bend the elbow, palm facing you. Boom, pivot on the front foot for the front one. been a long long time since I've worked up a sweat like this off the bike so thank you Selena that was fuck <laughs> that was good that was good okay bye hello friends it's Friday and I'm gonna be honest, I have failed spectacularly at getting out of my hello slump as I was calling it this week. So let's talk about it because I feel like it's one of the only ways I'm going to get myself over this hump is just being honest and being honest with you, being honest with myself and just getting it all out there. So. This all started, uh, if you watched the video I put up a few days ago um, about being on Ozempic, 
that's been a major part of the slump. I wasn't eating enough, so I didn't have enough energy, and I just wasn't, I didn't have enough energy to do my workouts. And once I realized that, and I kind of got myself to a place where I was better nutrition-wise, um, I'd sort of fallen out of the habit of my workout routine, but also I've had some other stuff going on as well, which hasn't been great. So I started this week fully with the intention of getting out of my slump, and on Monday and Tuesday, it was actually really working. I changed up my routine a little bit. I, you know, I, I tried a ride that I'd never tried before. I tried um, a boxing boot camp that I had never done before that just like really kicked my ass and really like made me feel good and had me excited. Um, and then I knew that Wednesday was going to be a tough day because I was supposed to have a, have a procedure done that I was really nervous about and um, I decided for Wednesday I was just going to give myself some grace and just do like my um, just do like a 10 minute bar class and a 10 minute uh, arms and light weights class and then go have the procedure done and be fine. Um, so that's what I did. I had to go to the other side of the city for this procedure and long story short, for some reason my appointment got canceled. Uh, don't know why, so that put me in a really bad mood not only because it was not my fault, but also because I was really nervous about this procedure and I was ready to get it over with and then it just got postponed. So thankfully, um, they were able to make me an appointment for the next day, so that was yesterday, Thursday. Um, and uh, at that point I was just just like in an awful mood, just like pissed off. My week had been screwed up. I still had all this nervousness about this procedure. Um, so I ended up like just sleeping a lot. I went to bed on Wednesday night and then I slept until like noon yesterday, which I haven't done in a really long time. And then I had to go again across the city to have this procedure done. And it was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. It was so painful and just really, really not fun. So that was that. Uh, and I also knew this being a, a gynecological, gynecological, whatever type of procedure that I wasn't going to be able to for a few days sit on my bike seat anyway afterwards but to be completely honest it was just so much worse than I expected it to be and that also put me in a pretty horrible mood and I'm still slumping away uh, I didn't do anything yesterday I haven't done anything yet today I am going to go walk to the library it's about a mile round trip it's not much but I'm gonna forgive myself for that I guess um, I don't really know if I'm going to post this on Sunday, if I should keep it going till I actually get out of this slump, or maybe I'll just make it a two-parter, see if next week is better. I don't know. Maybe I'll post it, because maybe you guys will help me. Maybe you'll have some advice for me. That would be great. If you have any advice on getting out of a slump like this, um, let me know. I'm not looking for sympathy. Just need to get my shit together. I guess let's just hope next week is better. Bye.